can't get it down with the bow. Let's try again. Not just any gun. Little trusty 870. We're going old school.
did that is my dispute. Oh, let's go. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. There's a. There's a dropping. I ain't sure where I hit him. Oh. Oh, Lord, please let that be a deadly shot. Please, Lord. Oh. The work we put into this. We. We stalked, literally. Uh, we see we went about 150 yards down the pipeline, about another 150 up, and clear across this field. And how we didn't get caught, I don't know. We went through leaves. It's quiet. There's no wind. And we may have just. Oh. Please, God. All right, it's been a couple hours. Um, got a couple of the guys together. Um, me and Briar, after all the chaos, uh, we checked the edge of the field and we seen a couple drops of blood. So we went ahead and backed out just because didn't know exactly where I might have hit him. Um, so, like I said, we got some guys together. We're going to try to get on the track now. And hopefully he's at the end of it. So. Here we go. Hey, dragon. Yeah. Put him leave. You fucking dragon. Oh boy. That's perfect. Is that your dad? Man. I don't know if it's better. He fell down. He may either. I don't know if it's bad or not. minutes ago we uh we ended up jumping him up um we sat here quiet quietly we could tell he's struggling to get up out of his bed he's definitely dragging his rear end which i knew after i shot the third time when he, when he entered that entered the wood line i could tell his rear end was kind of dropping so um not sure if i shot him in that leg or what the deal is but um we haven't heard anything for about 10 minutes now and we're not gonna we're not gonna push him any further but he's heading right towards this open field we're literally probably uh if i had to guess probably 35 yards from the open field um that was that's the direction he was going so we're gonna at least take it to the open field and i mean i don't know i, I wasn't sure on the shot um, but there is a lot of blood. We haven't really had any problem finding blood, but we got about, I don't know, a hundred yards in, we jumped him, so. But, there we go.
Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Thanks right there. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's December 4th. It's the Saturday of gun season. And I finally just punched my tag on deer I called tenfold. Um, it's, been a, it's been a rough season. I'm not gonna lie. There's been a lot of ups and downs, mainly downs. I've had a lot of crazy things happen this year to the point I didn't think I was ever gonna get a shot at one. Um, even today, this deer, he, uh, he came in a little after four o'clock, um, like I thought he would. And he came in with a couple does. <laughs> he, uh, I got the gun out, the, out of the front window and had it on his shoulder just waiting on him to come into that feeder. And he stopped, started licking his back and he ended up, uh, he blew a little bit and went right back after them does. Um, so. I really thought it was over with right then and there, but Briar saw the saw the does coming back, and he said, "Well, hold up, there still might be a chance." And uh, I couldn't I couldn't see him, but Briar saw him down in the bottom, uh, going up to the backfield, and that's all I needed to hear. And uh, I told him, "I said, well, let's make a move." And all I had with me tonight was the brush gun. I went old school this evening, brought the old A70 out, thinking it was going to be uh up close and personal but if i would have had the 350 out it i'd had him done an hour before then <laughs> but uh briar and, I, briar and i made a move um crazy probably one of the craziest hunts of my life not gonna lie spot and stalk on this deer he ended up chasing a doe kind of well, about 60 yards kind of diagonal from us and uh i popped up i told him i was taking him popped up on my knees and that doe saw me blue and then he saw me and uh i just i i let him have it i didn't hit him the best i really didn't um he was moving but i uh i unloaded the gun on him just to i i've uh, i just wanted to see him go down and i i felt bad I've, i hit this deer october 16th this year with my Matthews it ate me up uh, countless nights I mean it's I searched for this deer three three days called a dog in watching for buzzards and no luck on anything but uh he ended up showing back up a little after or right at the beginning of November and uh he he still, I mean, he, he looks healthy. The hole was definitely there. Uh, like I said, he, he ducked hard. I don't know if it was just the wind or what that day, but there was really no reason for him to. I mean, he wasn't even looking my direction when I, when I let that arrow fly. But, uh, I'm just glad to finally get him on the ground, get my hands on him. A lot of history with him. Passed him up last year. Um, he was a he was a 10 last year he uh he blew up a little bit this year not a whole lot of mass definitely not my biggest deer but um i'm i'm happy to get put my tag around him call the season and get ready for the holidays i've never <laughs> uh other than gun season yeah i've i haven't killed a buck this late in the year normally i've been blessed enough to kill him early or at least during the rut <laughs> But I, I put a lot of work and time into this one. Um, I even I even went out, purchased a couple more hang-ons. 
uh, hung a bunch of cameras up and found where he was moving daily and was about to make a move after gun season with the Matthews but it all came together tonight and uh, I'll thank Briar for capturing the footage it was it was a wild ride I'll tell you that <laughs> it is I this is something I'll never forget but good deer I want to thank the Lord and thank the wife for uh, just everything, just helping me out, allowing me to do this, <laughs> sharing the woods with me. She uh, she tagged out a couple weeks ago on a good one, so she knew it was my turn. She's she's put up with a lot ever since I hit him with a bow. Um, it's just been a it's been a crazy year, but that's uh that's tenfold. And I am truly blessed. Keep up with everything Buckeye Boys. Make sure you check us out on our other social media pages.